Now, lockdown restrictions are gradually becoming a thing of the past, a bit. The government is warning that caution be not thrown to the wind. Plus TV Africa's crew returns to Oto Ilogbo slum, and here is what they saw. Three months ago, we visited this community while in the thick of the lockdown caused as a result of COVID-19. Not so much is the difference even today. No social distancing, no wearing of masks. The issue of COVID-19, uh, we are very conversant and uh, uh, see the object from the NCDC that uh, presently we are about uh, 28 or maybe 25,000 uh, affected uh, COVID-19 uh, victims. And uh, here in a uh, uh, little extension, we are yet to see the doctor of uh, NCDC to come down here to ascertain or to know. Even the government, they are not that proactive like they used to post in the page of newspaper or maybe like uh, television or uh, television stations. It's like they need to come down. They should have give us experts like doctors, nurses that are, please understand all this ball, all this game, that they should partner with us in the various community and give kind of a, educa educa uh, what they need to be understand about the COVID-19. We made a stop at what is the only regular school in this slum. Learning has begun. <laughs> Zainab, who was pregnant at her last visit, has a baby girl now. Her girl, only 41 days old and she shares her joy. So I gave birth to May 24, and everything is fine now. I just want to go there, May, there is no any lockdown again. So let us free us. However, the hint that there could be a lockdown if Lagosians do not comply with safety measures worries this resident. Lockdown, you come and lock you, I'm only more. You feel like you are going to be worried, be sure you are going to be worried. Me, me, see, Jen. The last time we were here, we, it was possible for us to move and walk on the ground, but because of the constant rains, they've had to erect this so that this place becomes uh, passable. For the most part, the reality is still the same, as you can see from the environment. Whereas for us, wearing a face mask and face shield has become a way of life. For the people in the slums, it's not exactly the same. Uh, we can only hope that answers are given for the people of Otoilogo. Reporting from the slums of Otoilogo here in Lagos, Nigeria, I am Amaka Okoye, and it's back to you in the studio.